India's long-standing ambition to build its own world-class jet engine has taken a decisive leap forward. On September 21, 2025, Godridge Aerospace delivered the first serial production unit of the Kaveri derivative engine, designated as D1, to the gas turbine research establishment. Unlike earlier handovers of prototypes, this marks the transition to production quality hardware, a milestone that is being celebrated as a major achievement under the Atmanerber Bard initiative. The Kaveri derivative engine is a drive variant of the original Kaveri turbofan, meaning it operates without an afterburner. It produces about 48 kN of thrust and is primarily intended for platforms like the Guttuck Stealth UCAV. While earlier P-Series prototypes were meant to prove concepts, the D1 is built with serial production standards, focusing on repeatability, modular design, and reliability, qualities essential for scalable deployment and operational use. This milestone is the result of a journey that began in September 2022, when Godridge Aerospace secured a contract to manufacture eight engine modules. By April 2025, the company had already delivered two modules for testing. The handover of D1 now represents a new stage where engines are being built not only to demonstrate capability, but also to undergo qualification and endurance trials. The remaining six engines are expected to be delivered by the end of 2025, ensuring the project remains on schedule. The KDE program is a product of national collaboration. GTRE leads as the design authority, while Godridge Aerospace is the primary production partner. Other contributors include HAL, Tata, BHEL, and Midhani, all playing vital roles in areas like materials, integration, and manufacturing. Together, they are creating a self-reliant aero engine ecosystem in India reducing dependence on global giants such as GE, Rolls-Royce, and Safran. The D1 engine will now undergo baseline performance validation and accelerated endurance checks. In 2026, engines D2 and D3 are planned for 150-hour endurance runs and altitude testing. By 2027, with units D4 and D5, the program will move into full qualification trials, covering 300 to 500 hours of endurance, vibration, and thermal cycling tests, as well as extreme challenges like bird ingestion and icing scenarios. If the roadmap stays on track, the engine could be certified by the early 2030, supporting UAV and potentially even future fighter aircraft. For decades, India's aerospace progress was slowed by its inability to master jet engine technology. Airframes, avionics, and weapons saw advances, but propulsion remained a critical gap. The delivery of the first production standard, Kaveri derivative engine, changes that picture. It showcases engineering maturity, persistence, and national determination to overcome one of the toughest challenges in aviation. The handover of D1 is more than a technical success. It is a symbol of confidence. It marks the beginning of India's engine building era, laying the foundation for indigenous power plants that could one day equip drones, UAV, and even advanced fighter jets. With this achievement, India has taken a bold step closer to joining the ranks of nations that lead the aerospace industry. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts about Kaveri Engine in the comments section.